Welcome back guys to this new video and now we will start working on the new entity in our application which is the restaurant. So if you remember a few episodes back or a few uh, no, videos back we had created this ideas.txt where we plotted out all the entities and important stuff and we decided that we will first go with the menus. So now, now that we have the menus we know our hierarchy the hierarchy is we have owners let's forget the admin even now uh, we have owners owners have you know restaurants and restaurants have menus so um, if we go one step up we will need to work on creating restaurants so that you know um, we can move ahead now to do that let's see what we have we have this a menu component where we can you know, select from the drop down and accordingly the menus will change we have this form which allows us to create a new menu item and now we'll have a new view component which will allow us not only to um, show all the restaurants of that particular owner you know, who has logged in but also if let's say the owner uh, has you know a limit of only adding five restaurants to his account so if he has you know less than five then he will get a button to add a new restaurant and if he has you know reached the limit then that particular button will go away so you know even now i think we will not look at routes and other stuff we will first try to uh, get our components in a solid state uh, we want them to be uh, working properly uh, with you know uh, the assumption that if we pass them the correct data then they should behave properly for example you know this particular component if you see it just receives the you know these props where is it these these items props and the restaurant id and you know it, it just does everything uh, after that you know, I don't need to be worrying about pulling Ajax data and all those stuff. So yeah, um, we will use the same approach even in our you know, new component. So let's get started. And at first, I think what I'm going to do is let's let's create a model. Okay, uh, PHP artisan make model. I'll have a migration factory and a controller for that. A limit. You are in the restaurant. Okay. Now, once this is done, let's first look at uh, creating the migration for this. So, I'll go into my database folder, migrations. This is restaurants, right? What is this? This is the categories okay so we are not dealing with categories right now we are dealing with restaurants in here i'll just paste this code uh, and let's go over it so i have increments then i have a you know field a uh, varkar text field with name uh, another field for location i have a field as owner id which is basically the you know owner of that particular restaurant i'm assuming it is going to be the same because he will be creating that a restaurant okay and then the normal timestamp and i will have a foreign key constraint which says that you know this owner id references the id in the users table okay and if i delete that particular user these restaurants will get deleted okay um so yeah basically it's a way to say that if the user doesn't exist then uh, the rest of his data is not valid for me and obviously i will have this indexed additionally okay so yeah this is my migration now let's open our restaurant model i have my guarded property in here and then i think a restaurant belongs to an owner right so I have owner 
return dollar this belongs to uh, now it will be user class so user class okay but in this we have a problem which is the user when we do a belongs to it will try to find a user underscore id in the restaurant field okay but you know, if we look at our migration we have owner id right we are referencing it the unsigned integer as owner id so that basically means that laravel will not understand and hence there is an option to define any custom field if we have you know, modified the uh, field name so by, I mean, by default it will look for user underscore id but if we have something else we can define it here okay so yeah i think what we are saying is that a restaurant has an owner then similarly we'll go into this user class and we'll say a user has S T A U R A N T S restaurants, right? This has many restaurant class. Okay, now so obviously, what we are saying is that a user has many restaurants, but again it uh, you know it will look for that relationship in the restaurant table so we need to define that the relation is based on owner id okay and one additional thing which i want to do is okay i'll i'll show you later on uh, you know the what i basically want to do is whenever the restaurants are coming up they should be ordered by the name of the restaurant right it's a it's a relationship which we are calling in but we are calling the relationship with an order right so that's something which we'll pick up later i'll i'll not do it right now i'll just show you the the problem which we will face and then we will show you the um, fix for that okay so our migrations and the models in place so why don't we go to our cedar in here okay and what we will try to do is create um, a few restaurants for this particular user okay so first i will store that user in a variable okay and then i will need to add that data through the relations so yeah in here this is the code um, <clears throat> basically i have a you know, restaurants method available because i have created this relationship so user restaurants create and then i have the name the location okay now the owner id is going to be automatically assigned because our relationships are in place okay we need to be very clear on that if you know we don't want to do this we could have done something like restaurant then create okay and then what i can easily do is let's say in here i will just copy these two things and additionally i will do owner underscore id equals user id i could have done that i mean that's really not a problem but then you know we are not using the orm um, properly okay the relationships are not done properly so this is the you know best way to do it i would say uh, because you know we are utilizing the orm in the proper mechanism and you know we are not very we don't need to explicitly define it because we are saying that this user restaurants create so yeah um now once that is done i think we can run the php artisan migrate c refresh seed okay and it should add those data points let's see inside my database i have this new table these things are added these three restaurants and the owner id is attached to it this user and these restaurants so now 
let me go into my console and php artisan tinker okay um all right i think we should check something which is user equals user with name the relationship restaurants um find works in this case i not, I'm not sure yeah it, it works so in here this is one two and three okay but i think it's not a very good example so why don't we do one thing change it to abc lunch home okay and let me see if uh, the data changes yes it does so now we have a situation where you know i am loading the relationship there's no problem with that but the the order is all haywire because it's basically ordering by id and it is not ordering by the name i would ideally want this to be first and then you know uh, go one by one so then this and then this so how to do that now we definitely have that in our So this has restaurants right restaurants mm. right in here we will add order by order by will be name ascending and if i have done this correctly we should be able to see a change and we do so we have one point number one which is abc and then id one which is highway star and then mainland china so yeah i think you know we are um pretty much in a very good state when it comes to you know setting up the model the migrations and the relationships we are almost there and now we will look at creating a service which is going to give me this data point and from there on we will work on the view component as well uh, so yeah, we will pick up those things in the subsequent videos. So yes guys, if you like the video and the series, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.